Hello everyone, welcome to a Tim Talk where I share my thoughts, opinions, and philosophies as someone who has been in the hobby of model aviation for over a decade and as someone who is a mechanical engineer. So today we're going to be talking about something I'm very passionate about and that is six inch twin blades versus five inch tri-blades. And I'm gonna tell you right now, this will be opinionated, this will have my own thoughts in it along with some science. But if you don't agree with what I'm saying, that's totally okay. Feel free to share your point of view in the comments below respectfully. So there are three things that I wanna address in this video. First of all, I wanna talk about why five inch tri-blades are so popular because they are by far the most popular style of propeller in the mini quad industry. I also want to talk about why I personally ended up switching to six inch twin blades from five inch tri-blades. And I wanna talk about why Today, six inch has more advantages than five inch than it ever has had in the past. So let's talk about how five inch tri-blades became so popular. When mini quads first started to become a thing, we had the Blackout 330, we had the Immersion RC Vortex, which was kind of the first commercially available pre-built frame, and that was my first mini quad. And most people started off flying with the Gem Fan 5030, which was a five inch twin blade with a relatively low pitch, it didn't have much power, it didn't have much grip, it didn't have much of anything. And some people actually did fly six inch twin blades instead of that prop, but there was the HQ 5x4x3, which was really wispy, it just had amazing control, a lot more grip than the Gem Fan 5030, and it just really took off. Its popularity took off, and I personally think the HQ 5x4x3, the original one, is the reason why so many people fly 5-inch tri-blades today. Because when the popularity of that HQ prop took off, all the companies saw that and they started really putting a lot of R&D into 5-inch tri-blades to make them better and better and better. So I ended up building a 5-inch Alien, which, you know, it flew good, uh, and I flew those more highly engineered propellers like the Dow Cyclone, and you know, there were a ton of them. But the main point is there was a lot of R&D going into these props back then when they first started taking off, and there still is a lot today because that is the most popular style of prop. Now, I eventually saw that people were flying six inch quads, and there was the six inch version of the Alien, and Rotoriot had a version marketed the Butter Quad, which I eventually bought and built that kind of made me think about why are we running these five inch tri-blades? And when I thought about it, it really didn't make much sense to me because there are two problems with five inch tri-blades. One is the five inch part and one is the tri-blade part. So let's talk about the tri-blade part. It is known, you can look at the data for this. I'm not gonna discuss why it is in this particular video, but it is known that when you add more blades to a propeller, it gets less efficient. So that never really made sense to me. It's like, why don't we just run twin blades? The other thing is, the bigger you make a prop, generally, the more efficiently it can produce thrust. So to me, it made a lot more sense to have a larger prop with less blades than a smaller prop with more blades. And if you wanna think of it this way, you know, why would you run a four inch quad blade when you could run a five inch tri-blade. So that's kind of how I think of five inch tri-blades. Why would you run a five inch tri-blade when you can run a six inch twin blade? So basically that's why I wanted to try six inch and then after I tried it, it had a lot more grip, a lot more power and speed. The only thing it was sacrificing was control. It just wasn't as snappy as five inch, but my six inch Alien was significantly heavier than my five inch Alien, but I got much better flight times. On my five inch Alien, I usually got around two minutes, 45 seconds. On the six inch Alien, I could get three minutes and 30 seconds usually, and even higher than that if I flew more conservatively. So really, I found there were a ton of advantages to six inch at not a big cost. And that is why I still fly six inch twin blades today. And I do wanna point out that I don't really agree with six inch tri-blades because once again, you're just hurting efficiency there, and they also fly kind of too slow uh, by adding that extra blade. So now let's talk about why I think six inch is better than it ever has been, and why I think it has the biggest advantage over five inch than it ever has had. 
So when I first started flying six inch, we had those highly engineered five inch props that everyone was putting all that R&D into, but we didn't have that same R&D going into six inch props because they just weren't as popular and it didn't make sense for companies to be putting all of that time and money into those props. But even then, I still liked how six inch flew better than five inch. Now today, we're finally getting those highly engineered six inch props to really compete even better with those highly engineered five inch props. So the technology going into the five inch props kind of has stagnated in the past few years, but all of that technology has finally been added to six inch in the past few years. So that's really giving six inch a even bigger advantage. So we finally started getting blades like the Jamfan Flash 6042, the Emacs Avan Long Range 6x3.8x2, the Ethics K2, the Lumineer 6x4, and some other ones that really have much better flight characteristics, efficiency, whatever, than the props that I started flying on. Another thing is that nowadays the flight controller software, the motors, the hardware, everything is so much better and that helps address some of the inherent issues that six inch originally had, which mainly was the more sluggish response compared to five inch. Uh, it was a lot easier to get tuning issues on six inch because the frames are bigger. They have more jello issues because of that. Um, but today everything is so good that you really don't have to deal with that usually. And the biggest new advantage that I think six inch has is because of GoPro. So GoPros have gotten heavier. The GoPro 6 and 7 are almost 50 grams heavier than the GoPro Session 5. And when you're adding 50 grams to a quad that is only about 600 grams, that's a lot of weight. And because of the bigger disc area of 6 inch that gives it its really good grip, it really doesn't care about that added weight as much as the smaller disc area of 5 inch. And I have a theory that this is why a lot of people started switching to 6S on five inch is because they wanted more power to compensate for the fact that the quad is, you know, about 50 grams heavier. And to me, I never really felt the need to go up and cell count for that higher power because of that big disc area. Now, that is not to say that six inch doesn't have any disadvantages. The main ones I would say are that they're still not quite as snappy as five inch, but I think they are plenty snappy enough for really any pilot. And six inch is a little bit bigger, so if maybe you're a racer and you really care about that small form factor, or if you really need your props out of view, it's harder to achieve that with six inch than with five inch. So that's pretty much all I wanted to discuss in this video. Let me know down in the comments below if you have tried six inch and what your thoughts are. And if you haven't tried six inch, which is probably the majority of you watching this, uh, I really do recommend it. I think six inch has more advantages now than it ever has had. If you like this video, please give it a like. If you are new to the channel or you enjoy this kind of content, please make sure to get subscribed. It helps the channel out a lot. 84% of you guys watching this are not subscribed, so please make sure that you do get subscribed. And I have a new Instagram account, timmy.r.c. Link is in the description. I post little knickknacks and fun things on that that you won't be able to see on YouTube. Thanks for watching.